Hello, my name is Rob McCann. I'm a consultant anaesthetist. The aim of this brief video is for you to learn how to use a variety of different laryngoscopes to intubate the trachea of a mannequin. By the end of watching the video, you'll be able to switch the laryngoscope on, you'll be able to handle the laryngoscope correctly, you'll be able to introduce the blade of the laryngoscope safely and correctly into the mouth of the mannequin, you'll be able to describe the anatomy of the glottis, which is your target, and putting all that together, you'll be able to use the laryngoscope to guide the insertion of an endotracheal tube into the trachea of the mannequin. Laryngoscopes are used by doctors in anaesthesia, critical care, and emergency medicine uh, to intubate the tracheas of patients who are having emergency or elective surgery, patients who are critically unwell, and patients who are in cardiac arrest. Normally, we use a Macintosh laryngoscope to achieve this. However, sometimes intubation is very difficult, and in these cases, we use a variety of indirect laryngoscopes, which include the air tract laryngoscope, the AP scope, and the CMAC laryngoscope. And we know that these devices are very helpful in difficult laryngoscopy and intubation. Before I demonstrate the use of these laryngoscopes, you need to know the anatomy of the, of the glottis. The glottis is a structure which sits at the top of the trachea, Anteriorly is this upside down U-shaped structure which we call the epiglottis and sometimes it flops down in front of the glottis and hides it. Posteriorly are the two arytenoid cartilages and laterally are the vocal cords. In the distance there you can see the trachea. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use the laryngoscopes in turn. First off I'll uh, demonstrate their use in silence in unreal and in real time. Then I'll repeat the process and I'll split it up into bite-sized chunks and I'll explain what I'm doing at each step. I'll also give you some top tips to help you intubate these mannequins. Bougie, please. Okay, now I'll show you the intubation again, but in bite-sized chunks. The first thing to say is that the Macintosh laryngoscope is designed to be held in your left hand. Try to use your right hand and you'll really, really struggle. The laryngoscope consists of a handle, a blade and a light source. So the first thing you need to do is to advance the tip of the laryngoscope blade into the right side of the patient's mouth. The blade is designed to move the tongue over to the left. You advance the laryngoscope blade slowly into the mouth, keeping an eye on it, being careful not to strike the teeth or the lips. When most of the blade is inserted into the mouth, you then need to lift, and we lift up and out like so. As you lift, you will hopefully reveal the glottis. As you can see here in this mannequin, it's represented by these two white lines in the distance. We all have a natural tendency to pivot the laryngoscope at this point. As you can see, you will end up breaking patient's teeth, busting their lip, and in actual fact, you will not be able to see the glottis. Sometimes you might not be able to see the glottis. In these instances, you can ask your assistant to apply some external laryngeal pressure as demonstrated. And this will sometimes bring the glottis into view. Once you've identified the glottis, grab this device in your right hand. It's called a bougie. Making sure that you insert the end with a bent tip first. Pass that into the mannequin's mouth, past the vocal cords and into the trachea. Ask your assistant to railroad your endotracheal tube over the bougie, making sure that you insert it beveled end first. Advance your tube. Sometimes it, the tube can get stuck at the glottis. On these occasions, a useful trick is to rotate the tube anti-clockwise whilst you advance it. Remove your bougie. Remove your laryngoscope. Inflate the cuff of the tube and attach the ambu bag. Last thing, confirm that you can ventilate the mannequin's lungs.
Now we'll move on to the C-Mac laryngoscope. The C-Mac looks very similar to the Macintosh, but there are some key differences. First, I'll perform a silent run-through of how to use the C-Mac for laryngoscopy and intubation, and then we'll take you through it again, bit by bit. Now I'll take you through laryngoscopy with the CMAC step by step. The CMAC system consists of the laryngoscope itself and a video viewer. Place the camera into the housing and the handle of the CMAC laryngoscope. You slide it in, making sure that these coloured buttons are facing outwards. Slide it in and click. Then you turn the video viewer on, you press this button on the bottom left of the screen. And there you go. The CMAC laryngoscope is designed to be held in your left hand, similar to the Macintosh. You insert the CMAC into the mannequin's mouth in the midline, being careful not to strike teeth and lips. Looking into the mouth, you advance the blade of the CMAC laryngoscope. When it's about halfway in, you then look at your screen. On there you'll see the epiglottis at the top which I'm wiggling and below that you'll see the glottis and that the vocal cords are the two structures with the white lines. Next you grab a bougie in your right hand and you insert that into the mannequin's mouth. You'll see it come into view, there it is, that's the blue bougie. Advance that in Past the, past the vocal cords and into, into the trachea. Ask your assistant to railroad the endotracheal tube over the bougie, making sure that you insert it bevel end first. There's the tube there. We advance that past the vocal cords and down into the trachea. Remove the bougie. Remove your laryngoscope blade. Inflate your cuff Attach your ambu bag and confirm that you can ventilate the mannequin's lungs Now we'll move on to the AP laryngoscope The AP laryngoscope is similar to the Macintosh but there are some key differences First I'll perform a silent run through and then I'll take you through it bit by bit and I'll explain as I go along. So now I'll take you through how to use the AP scope uh, step by step. The AP scope system consists of uh, two components. There's the laryngoscope itself and there is the video viewer. The AP laryngoscope is designed to be held in the left hand 
like the Macintosh. It consists of a handle, a blade, when you open the blade it activates the light source. You'll notice here on the blade there is a small channel. This is used to guide your endotracheal tube past the vocal cords and into the trachea. In addition to that there is a small port underneath this flap at the end of the handle and that's where you attach the video screen making sure that the screen is facing yourself otherwise it won't work. And now you're ready to perform your intubation. With your screen looking straight at you advance the tip of the laryngoscope blade slowly and carefully into the mannequin's mouth being careful not to strike the lips or the teeth. In the midline slowly advance the blade whilst you look into the mouth. When the blade's about halfway in turn your view to the video screen. The first structure that you might see is the epiglottis which you can just see as that in the distance there. As you insert the blade further the idea is to lift up the epiglottis so that you see the glottis and there are the vocal cords the two white lines in your view. Next you grab your endotracheal tube in your right hand look into the mouth of the mannequin and you will see that side channel that I mentioned earlier. Place the tip of the tube into that channel slowly advance the tube and then look back at the screen. There's the tube there, I'm just wiggling it for you. Advance the tube past the vocal cords. At this point you might need to twist the laryngoscope blade a little bit and there you can see the tube is passing the vocal cords down into the trachea. Hold tight onto the tube and peel the tube out of the channel as you remove the laryngoscope. You'll have noticed that we haven't used a bougie in this instance. Inflate your cuff, attach your ambu bag and confirm that you can ventilate the lungs of the mannequin. Uh, now we'll move on to our final laryngoscope which is called the air track laryngoscope. The air track is very different to the Macintosh, the C-Mac and the AP scope. Uh, like before, I'll perform a silent run through first and then we'll take you through uh, laryngoscopy with the air track step by step. The air track laryngoscope is a single plastic unit. It consists of a blade here, an eyepiece at the top, and the on switch. And if you look at the bottom, that activates your light source. You'll notice there's a channel at the side into which you preload your endotracheal tube, just like this. It's important that the tube doesn't go beyond the tip like that. So pull it back so that you can just see it. And now you're ready to perform your intubation. Okay, so now I'll take you through it step by step. The first thing to say is that the air track system consists of the laryngoscope itself, a video viewer, and a camera head which we've placed on here. That will be put on for you already. You switch on the viewer on the with the power button switch the wireless camera on here, you'll then see an image on your viewer and finally switch on the air track again, your light source is activated. So now you're ready to intubate the mannequin. The air track laryngoscope is designed to be held in your left hand. Place the laryngoscope in the horizontal position and advance the tip carefully 
into the midline of the mouth of the mannequin, being careful not to strike teeth and lips. Looking into the mouth, advance the laryngoscope slowly. As you, become, as you come into the vertical position, turn your gaze to your screen. The first thing that you will see is the epiglottis. And there it is. Try to get it in the centre of your image. There we are. With your right hand, grab the preloaded endotracheal tube and advance it. As you can see, the tube is not going to go in. If this happens, what you need to do is to lift the air track. Also, you may have to twist the laryngoscope to bring the tube in line with the glottis. Advance the tube into the trachea and carefully peel the tube out from the channel of the air track. Remove your air track, inflate the cuff, attach your ambu bag and confirm that you can ventilate the mannequin's lungs. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I've demonstrated the correct and safe use of the Macintosh laryngoscope, the CMAC laryngoscope, the AP laryngoscope, and finally the AirTrack laryngoscope. Now you should be able to switch the laryngoscopes on, handle them correctly, introduce the tip of the laryngoscope blade safely and correctly into the mannequin's mouth. You should be able to describe the anatomy of the glottis. And finally, you should now be in a position to use these laryngoscopes to guide insertion of an endotracheal tube into the trachea of the mannequin. After you've viewed this video and had a chance to review it, the study team will ask you to perform laryngoscopy on the mannequin using the devices in the video.